All right, so we're getting ready to leave for three weeks. Things that you do with your house. Well pump off. All right, that's off. Oh, well pump off. Then, if you have a well, <laughs> if you have a well, that's true. And then we're gonna walk over here, and this is our hot water heater. So we unplug it. Let's see if you can tell. All right. So we're gonna unplug this so it doesn't have anything going to it. And then we actually use our water shut off too, which hopefully is a little bit unnecessary given that uh, the ball pump is off. That's it. Okay, we're on our way. First stop is Carolina Crossroads, right off of 95. It's an overnight stop. At this point, we're rolling in about 9.30, 10 o'clock if traffic cooperates. And then we're just staying there overnight, and then tomorrow we pack up again. We haven't decided if we're unhooking yet or not. I guess I need to get on that. I don't quite know what we're going to do, whether we're going to unhook. But the idea is just to have an overnight stop tonight in North Carolina, so we didn't have to drive, what, 10 hours tomorrow to Charleston all at once. So we'll get up and we'll head out tomorrow pretty early, hopefully, you know, depending on the time we get there tonight. And then we'll pull into Charleston tomorrow, probably around 3 o'clock. Yeah, first stop is Charleston. So the point five stop is uh, boondocking without boondocking. So you got a, an actual RV park. Is it a cr crossroads? Yeah, Carolina Crossroads. Carolina Crossroads. So we're going to stop and we're going to boondock without boondocking because we're just going to stop right off at 95 and then we're going to continue on. Last I checked, it was 30 three hours of driving for the whole time. Alright, we are approaching south of the border. We see the tip of Pedro's hat. Welcome to South Carolina. Yes, that is a big screw. Oh, I see some palm trees! Yay! Oh. Yep, see all that? Oh. Wow, that's cool. Pick up some fireworks, go oh, back Go to the Mexico shop list. Nice. That's the whole thing. Some places to stay if you're It's a Ferris wheel. That has no cars in I was told, interesting fact, that Florida is their busy season or their prime season is October through March. This is not their it's not their prime time. So they're you're saying all the old people come down. <laughs> Stop at south of the border and get on the Ferris wheel. That's what I'm saying. because during the Civil War, General Sherman came through on a march and he burned all these plantation houses down. It was a way to symbolize that we were abolishing slavery. It was also a clever way to cut the food supplies off to the soldiers in the field. These plantations provided the much needed supplies to the soldiers fighting the war. If you could sever the supply line, you could end the war, so to speak. When the proprietors found out what Mr. Sherman was, was up to, they knew he was gonna burn the house down. They did not wanna see it happen. They said they were gonna leave they were going to come back and pick the pieces up when Mr. Sherman was finished.
think she's gonna drive us? Yeah. How's your view? It's uh, crowded. Only four flights, and you should go some more steps. Come on, that's crazy. Wow. You've done four flights in the last like 10 minutes. <laughs> Everything that Ken uh, wants to do, rule. What do you think? No. I think that's pretty fair. Yeah. Say no. Mr. Ken thinks beer is icky. I've seen her. Ken can do whatever Ken wants to do. Beer is very icky. <laughs> that's a good term. Beer is icky? Yeah. Okay. I continue to taste many what beers mean, to find the one that is not icky. <laughs> to find the least icky. <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> they only can be discovered through wide experimentation. Does that mean we can drive? We have an aircraft carrying background. City in the back in the uh, that's Jacksonville, I believe. Is it? 
it's a real city. I saw lots of pictures. So we took a wagon ride, our first night, from a campground. We took a wagon ride through a plantation, which was incredible. Um, it's relatively short, but um, absolutely beautiful. Movie-esque in, uh, in the, you know, the, the long pathway through the giant trees that you've seen on TV and movies. Yeah, and the people who own the campground actually own the plantation. Campground is privately owned, even though it's a KOA. They don't get, they don't really need the money. They just, I guess, they do it because they like it. And then they also own the other. There's two Stay in the left three shopping lanes. centers that they own as well. So the people who own the camp, you know, campground own, own a lot of property. And the plantation was just amazing. It was about a half an hour wagon ride. Right, but it was awesome. Probably the coolest wagon ride I've been on it's in really a beautiful. campground. Really, um, really beautiful. Campground itself, very clean. Uh, incredibly friendly people, um, relatively nice sights. We got a, a nice people. long sight for where we were, and the sights next to us were also quite long, which is nice because I mean, the but, camper back there is 42 feet long. Right, and it wasn't just the people who ran the campground that were nice, the people staying at the campground were nice. Everybody was in a really nice, they were very pleasant. Everyone was, I guess it's Southern Hospitality or something, maybe? I guess so. It was, everyone was pleasant. On our first day, we went to Patriots Point, or the first full day, we went to Patriots Point. Uh, it's a place where you can where you can go through and tour a aircraft carrier, a uh, destroyer, a destroyer, and a submarine. The destroyer in particular meant a lot to Jen because her father was on a ship and served on a ship in the Navy, on a ship that was very, very similar to the one that we were on. I believe the only difference was the number of stacks on it, according to the Navy man that was a uh, that was uh, giving us information.